Jim Evans here backstage at Cage Warriors 94. I'm here with the victorious Corey McKenna who's just picked up her second pro win here in Antwerp this evening. Um, Corey, it went to the judges this evening. Um, where, did you have, I guess, any trepidation, I guess, when you were waiting for the result? Um, you know, I don't like taking things to the decision, so obviously I was disappointed with that in itself. I think I won the first and the third, um, and hearing back from my coaches, they say I did, obviously I'll watch it back and I'll have a look at what, you know, what went right, what went wrong and see, but um, yeah, obviously it's always nervous, you know, mm. I don't like to leave it in the hands of anybody else, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy that I got the win. I mean, in the first round, you seem to be in a bit of a predicament in that guillotine choke. Um, you're very deep, like, were you in, you know, how deep was it? No, it was good. Yeah. I was fine. I wasn't worried. Um, no, I'm, you know, I'm comfortable in the uncomfortable positions. I, I knew I knew I wasn't going to get stopped there. So, uh, you know, not an ideal position to get caught in. I make sure I don't do it again. But uh, no, I wasn't worried. I'm never worried. So give us some background here. You, you go out to Team Alpha Male to, yes. to do your training. Like, who are you working with there? I saw you're on, working with Cynthia uh, Calvillo. Yeah, like, I've been working with Cynthia Calvillo. Uh, Ka sorry, Calvia. I'm going to say her name wrong. Uh, <laughs> Calvillo, obviously. Uh, uh, Jamie Moyle, you know, and they've, they've also got some great, like, amateur girls that have been obviously like got different backgrounds you know like wrestling striking so it's great to kind of get that experience and obviously you've constantly got new people coming to the gym as well so I'm getting to see different styles and getting some great training in. How old are you now? 18. 18 obviously that's a big move over to kind of Sacramento spend a lot of your time uh, obviously not many 18 year olds will probably do that but. Well uh, yeah I've been there three times in the, in the past year you know I really uh, I really feel comfortable there um, you know it's to be honest, the age thing doesn't really make a difference to me. I've always been, I've always travelled to different gyms, you know, um, from a young age, just to get that feel, to get you know, confident, different styles and everything. So, to me, it wasn't that big, a, big a deal. Um, obviously, like I say I get great training back home as well. Don't want to just focus on that. But um, yeah, it, it, like I say, to me, it doesn't make a difference. You know, the, the whole travelling and everything. It's uh, something I've done from a very early stage. Sure, you know, everyone's. Um talking about you as big prospect, Cage Warriors making a big fuss of you, like, the, you know, how hard is it, I guess, to keep your feet on the ground, I guess, when everyone's, you know, talking um, you up a lot? You know, I'm not one of those, I'm very critical of myself, so uh, I, I keep myself down to earth as it is, let alone what, uh, you know, I get back home, I'm always getting stick, so, uh, no, I mean, I really obviously appreciate everything everyone says and all the uh, compliments and everything, but like I say, I'm my own, my own worst critic, so, uh, you know, this, this, I'm never going to be uh, perfect, so, uh, you know, I'm never going to get get above myself. I've always got stuff to work on and improve on. For sure. I mean, um, you know, second pro win tonight. Where, where do you kind of go from here? Like, do you want to get back in there quickly or do you just want to take some time out? I mean, you're so young. Um, I mean, you know, probably my toughest fight to date and I think she's probably, well, I, I'd say she's the best girl in Europe. Um, there's a vacant strawweight title for the cage warriors. Obviously, I wasn't happy with my performance tonight, so uh, I know some people might feel it's not justified me calling for it, but um, you know, there's the Welsh card coming up. Uh, they've just announced a big title fight with my teammate, Jack Shaw. Um, you know, Lanchana Green's just won the Made for the Cage World title. I think that's gonna, that would be an exciting fight. Um, you know, maybe stick it on the Welsh cards and have a d double whammy, get uh, two belts for the Welsh crowd. Yeah, that, that would certainly be a very, very good idea. So there you go. Um, hopefully we'll see you in Cardiff. So congratulations on your win tonight. And uh, no doubt we'll see you very soon. Is there anyone you want to thank? So I see you've got a load of sponsors. I've, yeah, I've um, <laughs> been very lucky with this, this camp. You know, um, people have really got behind me. Um, and I really appreciate it. So I've picked up a few, quite a few sponsors. You know, uh, Tatami and Q&T have been amazing. They've, I've been absolutely spoiled rotten. You know, I've uh, got Anytime Fitness. They sponsored me. Um, made use of their gym in Sacramento as well, you know, it's great, I can use their facilities anywhere. Gator Guard sorting me out a new mouthpiece, um, Atlantis Construction and eSmart, you know, just check check them out, like, all great businesses, so, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's great to see uh, the company supporting young fighters, so, um, as I said, congratulations on your win and uh, no doubt see you again, Chris. Sorry, also obviously want to thank Tillary Combat and uh, Team Alpha Male, you know, my management, Stone Sports, uh, Stone Sports Management, you know, all amazing, you know what I mean, there's too many people to thank, you know, uh, like I say, it's, it's, uh, everyone puts everything into me, you know what I mean, like, I'm, what, I, what I do out there, that's down to everyone else. Great stuff, Corey, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.